the Karate Kid 2010 format gate, but Helmut Suihark's costume actioner, the first Chinese lingo movie shown in the stereoscopic IMAX format, is let down by two-dimensional characters. The 3D is terrific in Flying Swords of Dragon Gate, but Helmut Suihark's costume actioner, the first Chinese lingo movie shown in the stereoscopic IMAX format, is let down by two-dimensional characters. Top winning an underused Jet Li, this reworking of King Who's Dragon Gate in 1966, and that so we produced new Dragon Gate in 1992, scored an impressive $22 million opening weekend gross following December 15th domestic release. Modest figures in simultaneous Australian rollout suggests Biz Beyond Asia will be just okay. North American distribution details are yet to be announced. Flying Swords of Dragon Gate Swords has notched mighty numbers on 59 giant wins locally. At regular venues, the pick was narrowly beaten for the top PO spot by Zhang Yim's The Flowers of War, launched the same day. Action centers initially on Zhu Huan, Li, a freedom fighter opposing corrupt eunuchs holding power during China's Min Dynasty. Following a knockout opening sequence in which he and his small band of followers rescue alleged traitors facing certain death at a shipyard, Zhu disappears for long stretches while Tsui introduces a lengthy roster of characters whose paths eventually cross. Chief among these is Ling Yanka, Zhu Kosten, a female warrior who has rescued Su Hiren, made his fan, a palace made marked for death after being impregnated by the emperor. Charged with eliminating, Su is Yu Haitian, Chen Kung, a regional boss who tracks the women to Dragon Gate Inn, a rough and tumble hostel in the middle of the desert where human flesh is on the menu. Built over a city of treasures accessible only during a sandstorm that's about to make its once every, minus 60, years appearance, the establishment has attracted adventurers including the rough and act Mongol princess Bulud, Guilun Mai, female bandit Gusha Autumn, Li Yun, and her partner in crime, Wind Blade, also Chen, a dead ringer for you. What follows is a sometimes confusing series of deceptions, double crosses and barroom brawls as Wind Blade and Yu impersonate each other and Zhu re-enters the picture ahead of the climactic CGI sandstorm. With the assistance of Avatar's 3D visual effects supervisor Chuck Kamiski, credited as supervising stereographer, Sui stages any number of marvelous action sequences. But what's glaringly absent is any character depth or significant emotional content frauds to embrace. Some sort of crouching tiger, hidden dragon, style connection is hinted at between warrior Zhu and Ling, but their reunion fails to produce sparks of any kind. Given little screen time and handed life duties, action-wise, top build Li is overshadowed by Zuko's and steely femme fighter and Teruin's Thesp Gui, who steals the show as the tattoo-faced, tough-talking tribal leader. With hardly a primary color in his palette, Lanzo Choi Song Fei creates splendidly burnished imagery of deserts and atmospheric.